Welcome back to The Last Door, everybody. Chapter 3, The Four Witnesses, and all is darkness. Probably because I've, be I've just been buried alive. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this one, honestly. All is cold. Very heavy breathing. You're panicking. You're panicking. Come on. Silence. Yes, all is silence. Slow your breathing. Calm down. And recall Kill Bill 2. Punch your way out of the coffin. Come on. Okay. Am I doing that? Oh, uh, what? How the... Okay. Now where am I? Well, this is a change of scenery. Is that me? Is that Jeremiah Devitt? What the hell? Wandering in the cold? Okay. <laughs> Strange. This might be a flash forward or something. What's this? Jeremiah, we must talk. With your mother deceased, arrangements have been made regarding your upbringing. A man of my position and responsibility can't take the time to look after a young boy. First thing in the morning, you'll depart for Scotland. I am sending you to study at the St. Gall Boarding School in Aberdeen. You need not bother to write, as I will have I will not have time to read your letters. Wow, you're a jerk. That's really cold. Maybe this is all symbolic. I'm wandering cold, lonely. In the, the, in the wilderness. Oh, that must be the boarding school, yeah. Still no letters for you, David. Please, do not persist any further. Damn. He's had a pretty hard life, really, hasn't he, Mr. Devitt? Mr. Jeremiah Devitt? Are we still in Aberdeen? Is that where I'm wandering around? Somewhere in there? I don't know. Pleased to meet you, my new classmates. And who is that? Him? Oh, that's just Devitt. Pay him no mind. He's a little odd. Interesting. Hello, I'm Anthony. Anthony Beechworth. This is my first term here. I've only just arrived. I hope we can be friends. Well, there you go. There's one point of Jeremiah's life which isn't just freaking horrible. He did have a friend called Anthony Beechworth, but unfortunately he's now hanging in an attic. So, um, yeah, that didn't last all that long, I suppose. Now he is just wandering cold, lonely in the dark again. But what's this? Somebody must have dug me out. What have I got there? What? What is happening? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine right now, honestly. Right, we've got this. Oh, it's a ticket. I thought it might be like a matchbook or something. Oh, it's a ticket to the Four Witnesses. That's the name of the chapter. I wonder how it got in my pocket. A ticket to see a play called The Four Witnesses. And yeah, Four Witnesses, one of the faces, again, scratched away, just like the photo was last time. Um, yeah, one of them looks like it might be Father Ernest. And I guess one of them might be me. Okay. Right, so somebody must have planted that on me. Weird. Anyway. A shiver runs down my spine when I look at what could have been my eternal deathbed. Who saved you? Because you didn't do that yourself, did you? Where are we, anyway? Are we in, like, a, a basement of the, the boarding school? What's this? Oh, my head is pounding. I feel so weak and thirsty. If I don't drink water soon, I will faint. Dear Lord, where am I? Okay, first things first, then. Let's get some water. Well, okay, second thing second. First things first, let's read this. Eyes close, ears muffle, and voices hush in the land that loves silence. Alrighty then, let's go get that water. I don't believe there's anything else here. I think that, that could have been blood, it might have been a carpet, I'm not really sure. Well, we've got pipes here, maybe they're water pipes. Maybe I can find a crack and, I don't know, find something. I don't know if, hang on, what's this? The light coming in from outside is dazzling. Right. Okay, dazzling light. Doesn't sound like Scotland to me, from what I've been told. I've never visited the place, honestly, but it, yeah, it, it seems to be very cold, raining all the time. I might be in the second building of the boarding school. Or maybe not. I'm in a city. Is it Aberdeen? How could I have escaped? I... I, I don't know. Somebody must have done this for you. Somebody... You, you must have a friend. <laughs> Uh, let's, let's just continue on, though, I suppose. So we're in Aberdeen. So we're quite a distance away, because I, I think the boarding school was a, a while away, wasn't it? 
Watercrest for sale? Okay. Aberdeen then. Okay. Um, let's let's talk to this lad up here. Young man, could you please tell me where I am? Uh, evidently not. Okay. What about this watercress? Or the best potatoes in town? Maybe I can get some of that. I don't know. Or just just a drink of water, maybe. Yeah, please, sir. Could you give me some water? This ain't no charity tough. I only sell to paying customers, so cough up or get out. Right, okay. Uh, I don't have any money. Uh, would you like a ticket? It's probably a very bad play, but you know, I don't know. it might have been a worthy trade. I'm going to have to look elsewhere for my water then. Oh, not best, cheapest potatoes in town, sorry. This? There's a cart blocking the alley. I won't be able to pass until it has been moved. All right, then. What about you? What can you tell me? Anything? No? No, he's just sitting there in ragged, ragged clothing, leaning against the brickwork. Okay. Well, this uh, this doesn't look like a very nice place to be, honestly. Better than being buried alive, but not much better. The young man sleeps under a filthy blanket. Okay. And and what about what about her? A young woman suffers difficulty breathing. Yeah. Okay. Stained and threadbare sheets struggle to dry in the muggy air. Horrible, horrible place. Hmm. Okay. I've got to get some water somewhere. It's fresh. Fresh water? Hopefully. <laughs> Let's find out. Please, I need water. Get out of here, drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm ex-buried alive. Shit. You. That's a nice dress. There's a man staring at me from amidst the crowd. Something in his countenance seems strange to me. That guy? I can't speak to him. I can speak to her. I have a good... Oh, okay. Bye then. Please, ma'am, could you tell me where I am? You don't know where you're at? Why, this is the old Nichols Street Rookery. A dark and more decrepit place like never there was. But that's in London. How could I have arrived in this slum? Really? You've gone quite the distance. Who who managed to get a coffin all the way down here? That's kind of, that's kind of insane, actually. Um, okay, so I can go that way. Can't open the door? No? Okay. Fair enough, I'm gonna leave that guy that guy alone. He doesn't want to be seen, I guess. Let's go this way. Ah, oh, finally, okay. This might be uh this might be the key. From the pipe flows grimy water, full of soot. This might just do. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't say I need a cup or anything. Just get down on your hands and knees and, and drink. There you go. The water's foul odor is repulsive, but I am overcome with thirst. It's better than nothing. Do I, do I take a couple of sips or what? Oh, okay, no. I don't intend to drink it again. It had an awful taste. I'm not surprised. I am not bloody surprised. Oh, bloody hell. I'm still not feeling very well because he doesn't seem to be moving as fast as he usually does. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> not feeling well at all. Alright. Nobody came out and helped me? Brilliant. I must have fainted. It's dangerous to be an old nickel at night. I should make my way out as quickly as possible. Okay, at least he knows where he is, which is something. Ah, uh, so... Okay, I seem to be... that be cured. I guess I just needed to faint or something to, uh... to get myself helped up. Okay, so... We can't go through the gate at all? No? Okay, let's... let's move on. Everyone must be in bed right now, or, or elsewhere. Okay, so that the... the at least... I thought these might be homeless people. They, they seem to have moved on, either way. Very foggy. Really nice look at this game, I've got to say. So we can go that way. Uh, so Oh yeah, okay, we can go that way before the, there was a cart there, wasn't there? So this is going to be a new area. Let's let's see what's beyond here. A library? No, this must be another sort of like flashback or something. Herr Dr. Wakefield is here to see you, mein Herr. Show him in, Herz. It is about your patient, is it not? There is no trace of him. He hasn't shown up for at least his last few sessions. I have been to his house, of course. His landlady assured me he went on a trip weeks ago and hasn't come back home. He kept the destination to himself. Then it is happening as I feared. What do you mean? I am sorry, my dear friend. I first thought of this when you described your sessions with Herr Devitt, but I didn't want to upset you without need, as I hoped for the best. Now I am afraid my suspicions could be true. 
There are some things that I will have to verify first, though. I promise that I will contact you as soon as I have learned anything important. Please, Herr Doctor. It is of the utmost importance no one else know of this matter. You have my total discretion. What's going on? Everyone seems to know what's going on but me! As we enter the, uh, the third episode, The Four Witnesses. Okay. Back to Jeremiah now, I hope. As he roams through London. Old Nickel. I feel like I've been walking these streets for hours. Surely I must be close to finding my way out of this. Labyrinth. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, sure. So, what can we do here? There's some stairs that way. I can go right or left up here as well. Let's go up the stairs. Let's go up the stairs. Let's go left. Okay. Oh, there's that guy again. I can't talk to him. I can, like, go towards him, though? Wait. Do I chase him? Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. I'll go there in a moment. I saw... Yeah. There's someone down here. Hello. How are you? Do you hear them? It's the crows. Searching for the moans of the weak and dying. They're calling to each other. They must have found something. Uh, alright. Uh, could you help me? Just tell me the way to go. <laughs> These streets are so confusing to navigate. I'm afraid I have lost my way. Could you direct me out? Yes, lost one. I can give you direction. I have been gifted with the second sight. I can peer deep into your past and unwind the tapestry of your fate. Would you like me to close my eyes so that yours may be opened? Uh, well, sure, why not? But yeah, I don't have anything to pay you. Unless you want a ticket to a play. I haven't a penny to pay you. Money is of no matter here. Come close to me now. Yeah, money's no matter. You're gonna get fucking robbed or something. So what's this? Okay, the mask. Empty eyes stare at you, and a voiceless mouth calls you. Its lips twist and snarl with what it has seen. What it is still to be seen. You think it is a stranger's face, but it is your own. Alright, so these is this is just tarot cards, I suppose, are they? Let's choose this one. Okay. The Walker. You have embarked upon a great journey, but this path has been walked by you before. You step in your own footprints inside a circle of fire. That sounds horrible. Right, uh, well, that one. The puppet. Threads, hanging from an immense hand of dust, converge upon a single point. Your mind. Where memories, oblivions, and shadows cluster as one. It is your friend and foe. Your home and your prison. Well, that's just freaking grand, isn't it? Oh. Only a choice of three, then, I guess. I don't understand. What does it all mean? I can't unpick these ones. <laughs> the threads you have woven in destiny are too tight, child. But you will. Oh yes, you will. It is not for me to say, but for you to discover. Remember that in the fog, we see only what is closest to us. The bird remains in the distance. If you wish to leave, you must follow the path of the bird. No more direction can I give. Okay, can we speak about this weird man? Yeah, I'm following a man. He must have passed this way. And how is that man? Tall, well-dressed, red-haired, and a cold look in his eyes, apparently. The nightmare of which we don't talk about. All of us, asleep or awake, have seen that man at some time. That's a little bit odd. Okay, I've got to go. Pardon me. I must go. You will need a map to guide your steps. Farewell. Oh, I thought I, thought I was going to get given a map then, but never mind. Never mind. Okay. What's this? A rusty old oil lamp sits empty in the corner. No, it doesn't belong to anybody. You're welcome to take it if you like. I'm not sure what good it will do you without any oil, though. Well, I'm sure we'll find some oil at some point. We have an empty lamp, okay. And what's that down there? Though the embers look as though they'll soon extinguish, its meager warmth is welcome. Well, that's why, uh, that's why they're there. Okay, alrighty then. Uh, yeah, let's, let's follow this weird man, then. Intriguing. Maybe I'm thinking he probably is one of the witnesses that we have yet to meet. The fourth witness, I guess. Oh, he's going that way now, is he? Uh, okay, a couple of things to have a look at then. Okay, what's this to start off with? Like a sign? Might be. You may keep my miserable kingdom. You may keep my spike-encrusted jewels. Stay there as you will, and stare into my eyes. I am a shadow's shadow, and will not disappoint. Weird. Okay, that's the, that's the second sign on the wall that I've seen that just doesn't really make any sense. Anyway, uh, that's just rubbish. Rotten scraps of food and discarded papers, which I can't pick up. No, okay. No oil amongst them. Fine. 
we're gonna go and well, let's try this door over here, I guess. Okay, the gate is latched shut, and I can't open it from this side. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, that looks like it's an open, like, grate or something. Is that like a sewer entrance? Oh, it might be. It might be. Okay. What, what's that? Rats. The letters seem to have been inscribed with an oily, gr an oily grime. Okay. It reads, rats. I'm not sure if that's a warning or an exclamation. <laughs> um, bit of both, probably. Bit of both. Okay. Uh, I can't really see in here. The sewer is flooded here with an ankle-deep pool of water. Patches of oil swirl on its surface. Fantastic. Right, can we just use the empty lamp? No? We can't? Oh, can I just grab it? Yeah. I could collect some of this water, but I would need a container to store it in. Oh, okay. Uh, so, I guess we do need to find, like, a cup or something. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll be back. This is what we need for, for the, the empty lamp, I'm sure of it. So let's go back. And uh, let's continue following this strange man. Oh, there he is. Okay. You want me to go in there, do you? I guess I... I guess I could. Let's see what else we got around this area, though, first. Can I look through the window? The glass is fogged over, but for a handprint left on the surface. Okay. And we can go left as well. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, let, let, let's follow him, shall we? Let's see what we can actually get out of this. Okay. Pretty dark. It's very dark. I don't dare to go on. Oh, I guess I can't follow him unless I have the uh, the lamp that's all lit up and everything. So I'm going to need to find a container. Where is a container? Have I missed it? I don't know. We can go right and we can go left. Let's uh, let's keep going right. I have a feeling I'm going to get lost, you know. No wonder he's been walking these streets for hours. There's a lot of little nook and crannies around here, you know. Bloody hell. It was too dark back there to go on, but I, I can't seem to see where I'm going. Oh, hang on. We can go. We can go over here, somewhere like between the trees. No, it's gone now. What's going on? <laughs> okay, uh, let's just keep wandering around. Oh, hang on. Yes, we'll go there. Okay. All oh, right. I got lost in the fog. If I am to make my own way through, I'll need to orient myself somehow. So I do need a map, then I guess, or uh, or something, something to something to go for. All right, so I can't go that way, and I can't go that way. Well, there was a there was a way left, wasn't there? I hope so. Yeah. So here. Okay. Oh, we're back here again. Hmm. Okay, so I went round that way. What's down here? Okay. Now this is different. So we have a lamp. The street lamp tries to put some light into the gloom, but it kind of fails. The boarded-up window of a run-down house. Dust smears the glass, preventing me from seeing the interior. All right. Well, there's a door. Fingers crossed it's unlocked. It is. Okay. Well, in here, we're, we're probably going to find a container then, right? Oh, what is this? Cuts of rancid... Oh, it's a butcher's. Cuts of rancid meat lie discarded on the butcher's block. Can I use that in any way? Oh, lots of meat. Lots of meat. Okay. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? What are these? Oh, hang on. I can use these. All right. A metal plate is planted in the wall. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was a bolt hole. Ah, oh, okay. Are these controls for it or something? Hmm. This, this looks like a puzzle to me. This might take me a while. Or it might just sort of work out by, like that, apparently. Okay. So, we're inside the bolt hole. So, where's this? Ah, that looks like a container to me. That bottle, yes. That'll do. A bottle of gin. It's empty, but it may be of some use. I'm sure it will be. There we go. Okay, what else we got in here? What's this? This machine is old and in disrepair. It appears to be some sort of filtering machine. Despite its condition, it seems to have been used just recently. All right. Uh, and that is... Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. And this is, is the same thing. It's a big machine. This is a glass essencer. Essencer. No, essence seer. Liquids are poured into the top and then impurities removed through a valve at the bottom. If I'm going to be picking up oily water, 
This might be where I have to visit first before I put it in the empty lamp. Yeah. Right, so we have an empty bottle, don't we? If there's nothing else here, I'm going to go back to that to that oily water. What's this? Rusted out drums. Empty. Okay, it's very dark. Very, very dark. All right. Okay, so through, through the bolt hole. That puzzle annihilated me, I've got to say. Usually I'm pretty good at those things, but... I, I just didn't, didn't compute this time for some reason. But we're going to go this way. I don't know which way is quicker, really. That way, in here. And hopefully use the bottle down here. Yes. It didn't, tell, it didn't tell me I can't do it. I collected some of the oily water in my gin bottle. Okay. Oily water, probably not going to go straight into the empty lamp. No. I need to find a way to filter it. I know a way of filtering it, so let's go back. So, back that way, back that way, up here, in here, and then through the bolt hole. And hopefully use the essence here. So, empty, or the oily water, here. Right, okay. I pour the contents of the bottle into the essence here. And the oil floats on the surface. When I open the valve, I will drain the water until all of the water has been removed. Like so. And that's it. I've extracted all of the water. So, the only thing that's left is oil. So, can I just use the empty lamp with it? Ah! Fantastic! I fill the lamp with oil. I hope it'll be enough to last the night. Right. Right, okay. Now, of course, we have the problem of having no fire. But, now that I'm thinking of it, I did, I did see some embers a moment ago by the, uh, by, like, the gypsy. By, uh, you know, the, um, the psychic. So let's go back that way. Might be able to use the lamp with the embers. I'm hoping. Up here. Yes! Okay! Great! I know what I'm doing! So we've got it lit, right? Okay. Now that probably means we can follow the man inside his house? I hope so. Let's give it a go. Okay, great. I think we can make some progress now. Guys, thank you very much for watching this first part of Chapter 3, The Four Witnesses. I hope to see you in the next part as we explore the house and try and find this man.